Okay, it's been a miserable year. Uh, we all know that. People got sick, people died. It's been miserable. Companies have gone out of business, all the restaurants are closed. But guess what? Now it's time for the magic of Christmas. Let's just start this off with a bang. So ho ho hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our Christmas show. Let's go over to my special chair and uh, discuss this tragic year. Okay, boys and girls, welcome to our Sandy Claus edition. So the first thing I got to say is thank you. Thank you all for letting us become um, a, a sensation. Um, we've cranked 100,000 subscribers since April 1st, and that's kind of like amazing according to what we've heard. All of you have basically been following us and, uh, and helping us along, not just by watching, but also by giving us suggestions on what we should do next. And by the way, what's going to happen next is this beard's going, because you know what? That is just a little too itchy. Okay, so anyway, and I can't get to my favorite brew. See, Sandy Claus needs this to make sure that he has a happy, uh, a happy Christmas. Hmm. You can't beat eggnog and Canadian whiskey. Anyways, we, we've, we've really been grateful to all of you for helping us out. We had no idea in April what was going to happen. Many of you have probably had relatives or friends that have gotten sick. Hopefully you haven't seen too many folks uh, actually expire because of this COVID stuff. But I'm, I'm grateful that at least at Monroe and Associates, we've had no casualties per se. Um, I'm, I'm happy that we've kept ourselves um, alive and well. We've actually thrived. Um, I thought in March that we'd never see September. And here we are in the last of, uh, the last of December and, and we're alive and actually doing okay. Everyone at Monroe has had to sacrifice just like every other company around. In fact, on our street, we've got five or six companies that didn't quite make it. This has been great for us, and we know why. It became obvious to us because of YouTube. YouTube uh, made a huge difference. And I will tell you, um, it wasn't the first time that, uh, that someone suggested it, but, uh, but Corey Steuben, who is doing some of the filming right now, insisted that we do this, and I can't thank him enough for, uh, for pushing me in this direction. If someone would have told me on April Fool's Day that I would be dressed up like Sandy Claus today, I'd have told them they were crazy. But at the end of the day, here we are. And we are alive and we're well, and it's because of all of you. Now, that was 2020. I'm looking forward to 2021. As some of you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of changes. BMW just announced that in 2021, they want to have 25% of their vehicles sold to be EVs. I think a lot of that had to do with the predictions that we made here and the things that we've shown to the rest of the world taking apart the Tesla, which I still think is the benchmark, if you like, for, uh, for the EV world. On top of that, um, as you know, we took apart a, a Model 3 and I uh, didn't have much good to say about it, but I've been told that... Um, the new Model 3 is much, much different. The 2021 Model 3 is very different. So next year, you're going to see us taking apart a new Model 3 so that we can show you what the differences are, so we can show the rest of the world what they need to try and catch up to, because I think that that's our new role here at Monroe and Associates. So they gave me this big script here. Um, this, is, um, this is a script of all of the nice people. Um, we had a big, big roll that it was uh, 14 feet in diameter uh, of the naughty people. But, uh, but in essence, um, I just have to make sure that I don't miss anything. So uh, let me see. Did I hit everything? Um, yes, yes, yes. 
And uh, by the way, just to let you know, some people were asking about how long did it take us to uh, disassemble the Model Y. We started um, in late March and we ended in late May. So in, the, in those 40 episodes, I had no idea that we would be here, here today doing what we're doing. So with that, what I'd like to do is talk about a little bit or show a little bit about what we're going to give away to those folks who uh, were, uh, were subscribing. We have uh, 70 or 80 different bits and pieces that are going to be sent out. And so with that, I'd like to move over to the presentation table so we can have a look and, uh, and tell you a little bit about who's getting what. So again, thank you and have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, a Hanukkah, whatever it is that you're celebrating or not celebrating, that's up to you. But for me, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. And with that, Sandy Claus is going to move over to the other table. Okay, well, it would be great, or better, if I could have wore my beard, but uh, unfortunately, I can't do it. I, um, I can barely stand this uh, headdress. So, here we are. We don't have the Christmas tree, but uh, it would, it would kind of get in the way of all the extra fun. So, here we have the ultimate prize, right? This is what everybody was hoping for, but Jake Osborne got it. So, Jake... This is in a box uh, shortly heading in your direction. And then over here, oh, we have uh, Charles Gunther. And Charles, you're going to get yourself your very own um, uh, brake rotor. And here, well, this is Katie Green. She's one of the naughty girls, and that's why we're giving her the, uh, uh, the other part of the brake here. And down here, we've got Tony... Sundias, I think. Sunidas. Sunidas. I think so. Sundias. And he's going to get this thing here. And then the rest of you. Okay, well, um, here's some of the names. And uh, there's lots of prizes. And this hair is killing me. So guess what, folks? I'm going to end with out that. <clears throat> Anyways, all of this stuff is going to somebody. And if you stay tuned at the end to look at the credits... You're going to see a lot of names. If your name is up there, it's on the way to you. However, all we have is your U2 name. You're going to have to go and take and look at your U2 name and then get back in touch with us. Make sure that it's uh, the real person. If we are going to qualify these things. So I need to make sure that if you want this and your name is out there, we want to get it to you and we want to get it to the right person. So send an email to the email address below so that we can get everything to you, make sure that you get it um, soon. So thank you so much for a wonderful year. I hope that God blesses all of us in 2021, and especially all of our supply, or sorry, all of our, uh, our, our sponsors, all of the people who've helped us out. I, I can't say enough. I can't say thank you enough. Anyway, be with us for 2021. It's going to be a great year for all of us. Thank you. And I really do appreciate it. Thank you.